Pricing Methods for Rooms In this tutorial, we are going to see how different pricing methods can be used for different rooms at the same time. We begin with checking and comparing the existing pricing methods of some rooms at the Room Properties page. The related setting is found at the second tab, Prices and Guests. And the place for the pricing method is here at the top. This room is using Pricing Per Person method. In this method, Room price is calculated by multiplying the price per person by the number of guests. And now, let's check the pricing page of this room. Open the pricing page. Here we find only one column, which is named Price Per Person. Let's now check other rooms. This room uses Fixed Price method. In fixed price method, room price is independent of number of guests and other variables. The pricing panel of this room looks like as follows. Again, there is only one column for prices. Let's finally check the detailed pricing method. In this method, room price is variable with respect to number of guests and the pricing panel looks like as follows. This time there are two columns, price of room for single occupancy and double occupancy. Now let's have a look how these settings show up on the reservation screen. Open the booking engine and choose one adult. Choose a rate that contains all the room types we are working with and check the prices. Take them aside for later reference. And now let's change the occupancy from single to double and see how those prices will be affected. Change number of adults to two. Find the same rate. And let's compare the two now. Corner Suite price, which uses detailed pricing method, has increased with double occupancy. Double Room price, which uses fixed price method, has not changed. And the Classic Room price with per-person pricing method has doubled as we expected.